So dashboard is our main landing uh, place. Everybody with me? <coughs> now mine's gonna look different than the way yours looks because I've already registered. So the very, very first thing we're gonna do is you guys need to register. So now when you first went here, it, you might, it might've asked you to verify your logon through our regular MyCI. So just, so go ahead and, and do that and, and, and type in your name and, and password. Okay, good. so everybody have a look up here while, it might take a few minutes while it's going through and registering people. This is what we're gonna do. You are, you've just created some web space. All right, I know, whoa, blew, blew everybody's <laughs> mind. It's amazing, high tech. Um, uh, th let's have a look up here while you're waiting. So this is what mine looks like, because I have a bunch of these things. But you are going to generate your own uh, area on the web. And there's all kinds of things that we could populate it with. Which, which we're first going to do is we're, we're going to say, hey, computer server thing, here's my space I want to carve out. And then it puts some computer programming language stuff in here so that I can do what I want to do. What, if you are so interested, you can play around. There's all kinds of things on here. You could have a database. You could have your own wiki, all kinds of things. The thing that we're going to use today is WordPress. So WordPress is a service that runs about 60 to 70% of the world's blogs. So it's very, very popular. It's very easy to manipulate. The first day or two, you might think, this sucks, right? Yeah. But comparatively speaking, you don't have to do any HTML coding. You can just go up and, and uh, plug, play, toot, 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 toot. There are, I think we're up to something like, I don't even know, um, 70,000 free templates uh, for blogs. There's, there's hundreds of thousands of plugins. So there's all these great things you guys can utilize. So we're, we're have a look up here while we're waiting. What, what I've done here is I've created a, a special sub area within my web space and I've installed these different things. I've installed, in this case, WordPress. And that's what we're gonna, we're gonna do. We're gonna install WordPress. We're gonna set it up and that's basically what we're gonna do today so that you guys can start working on your own blog. We have a couple different things here. We have featured applications. Again, we're gonna be using WordPress. Um, what we're gonna what we're gonna do is go into our website and carve out first an area that we want it, you know, an, an area for our uh, what we what we're gonna call a subdomain. So remember, I said that. Uh, uh, so this guy, this is one subdomain. This is some. Um, there's some text in front of my main domain name, right? So this is nola.piratelab.org. So you can see that. This one is the blog for our robotic work. So this is our R blog, right? So this is r.piratelab.org. And essentially the way we can organize stuff is each one of these things with a separate separate subdomain there. One is NOLA, one is R, you know, da, 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 da. That's as if it's a totally separate web page. And so the, the, the process we're gonna go through is we're gonna create a space within our web space and name it something, A-A-R-R -R or NOLA or whatever it is. And then once that's named, we are going to uh, come over to here have a look at these featured applications. Look at this stuff. There's crap loads of stuff here for you guys to install. Each of these is a totally separate uh, uh, HTML code and different types of codes and stuff to install all kinds of different things. We're just gonna use WordPress. So now I would come over here, I'd install WordPress and it's gonna say, where do I wanna install WordPress? And I'd say, oh, it's in the domain I just established. Why don't, we, why don't we look up here? How about we every look up here and I'll go, I'll go really slow through this so that you guys should be able to keep up. So this is what I'm gonna do. So this is this looks when you get this web screen, CI Keys has established your space. It's built your it's built your spot, and you got your your area on the web, right? So if I come over here and click this thing that says subdomains, okay. So just like we saw when we registered, there was this guy that said there was a big uh, blank box, and then it says 
uh, .cikeys.com. Same idea here, right? So check it out. In this case, mine says piratelab.org. Yours will say whatever, Tevin at cikeys.com, whatever. But, what, but the subdomain, it sounds a little weird because subdomain, we think maybe sub below. It may think maybe the words should come after the name, but it actually comes before. So this is where we're going to um, figure this out. And this is where I want to make sure that we all go through this uh, the same way. So let's have a, let's, so in this case, I have a bunch of subdomains already, right? There's R and coastal and all these various things. So we're going to pick this one. And you guys are going to call this first one, the one that I'm going to use, capstone. And then say, so I'm, I'll, I'll do one with you guys. I'm going to do, I'm going to do test six. And then I'm going to say create. Okay, now it says, yep, made it. Cool. So I can, I can again, we can always go hit, hit our dashboard. That's the way that we always can go back to stuff. All right, so now, remember I said, so now you've created... You've carved out a certain area inside the memory of the server. Now we're going to install the, the computer instructions that are going to say, show me my blog here. So for that, we're going to go down. Now you sh you're going to click on where it says featured applications. You're going to click on WordPress. And here we go. So I'm going to come up here and go, oh, okay, yeah, WordPress is what I want to install. Great. So what I'm going to do is click this thing here that says install this application. I'm going to click that. And it's probably going to think for another 20 years. Okay. Now, don't click anything else. So this is where I want everybody to be. This is where, one of the things I want you to make sure you, you do. So have a look. Uh, everybody look up here. So here we go. Location. This is not where I want you to install this thing. Okay, this is, your, this is your default one. If you guys want to work on this outside of my class to have your own separate thing, totally, you can, you can absolutely do that, right? Um, but what I'm gonna do is note right here, there's a, there's a pull down arrow, I'm gonna click this, and all the different things I've created are gonna be here. Here's the one I just made, test six for me. For you, it's gonna be the one that says capstone.cikeys. And I'm gonna click that, and it's gonna go, okay, there. So that's the first thing I want you to do. Next, Right here where it says directory, I want you to delete, what's going on with this thing? I want you to delete the thing that says blog. Probably has a little story. Yeah, so it should like that. So have a look. So this is what people are gonna see, this is what people are gonna see. So now it just says test6.pyrolab.org slash blog. Uh, that's what I had before, I deleted it, so now it does not say slash blog, okay? Cool. Now, this is gonna be whatever the most current version, uh, most up-to-date version of it is, and that looks like if I click that, yep, 4.3 is the most recent one, so that's cool. Yes, I speak English, excellent. And then yes, I'll use the agreement and all this and that. And you can just leave the other stuff default. Now, here you go, administrator name. I want you guys to make up your own administrator name, something that you'll rem remember. Ideally, your name, so that it's 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 you know sort of easy to remember, but it doesn't have to be. It can be whatever you guys want. But again, this might show up in some aspects depending on the blog. So you want it to be professional. Again, you don't want the F Doctor A 2015 kind of <laughs> kind of thing. So you're gonna name whatever that is, and then you're gonna type in a password. And uh, as with all these things, better to have. Then, okay, now so the stuff we've been doing before. It, the case is doesn't isn't sensitive. Now, when you do the name and this administrator password, that is case sensitive. So you should use at least one uppercase, at least one lowercase letter, at least one number. All those all those typical things, and it's going to give you some advice as to whether it is strong or weak or whatever. So go ahead and fill that out. Make sure it has your desired email address. Now, maybe this is your CSUCI email address. Maybe it's something else, but this will be the way, this will be the place that all the emails to you about your website show up. So if you want to keep it on your school website, that's cool. If you want to have it your, you know, Gmail or something, that's cool too, but just make sure you guys pick what that is. Um, although the title you can change later, why don't you guys just change it to be something like, uh, uh, you know, Sean's capstone site or something, your first name capstone site. 
And then website tagline, you can just put fall 2015. Now let's keep scrolling down. Leave the default things as they are. This one here, it says course or project. Click that sucker and you should see ESRM 499 capstone. Click that. Status. I'm a faculty, you guys should register as a student. And then all we can do is hit, hit install and this will take a little bit. And it's gonna think and we'll see a progress bar here in a second and this might take, you know, like several minutes. <laughs> right, here we go, right here. So you guys can see it. So here I'm installing, I'm 75% done, etc. Okay, well, so that's working for everybody, right? It might take a few minutes, but it's working for everyone? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, um, what it's done is it's installed WordPress. Now you actually do have a website that does have stuff in there. Excuse me, you do have an area in the server and that is now populated with uh, some skeleton blog stuff. Cool? All right. Um, now have a look right here. So I see this thing, this first one here is the, the name that the world will see. If you want to email your mom, you want to email your friend, this is what you would email them. Okay, and this is, this is, how, this is what they would uh, click on or type in to their uh, browser address to, to navigate to your particular site. The next, the bottom one is wordpress.org. If you guys have a question, you can't figure something out, that's wordpress.org's homepage. But the one you're gonna use 99.99% .99 of the time is this guy here. So it's, it's just like the, uh, the above address, but it goes slash WP for WordPress dash admin slash. That's how you're gonna get in and tweak and adjust and modify your site. And so I should say that I, uh, this, these, I have many things because I'm that way, um, but you guys will just have this one. If, again, if you wanna make another one to play around with, to practice stuff, you can have as many of these as you want. And they're, they're acting as if they're separate web pages with totally different, you could, you know, we could have one be about your schoolwork, you could have one be about your band, you could have one be about your animals, you could, whatever you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to click on that dude. Which, yeah, sorry, the WP admin one. And this is what you'll see when you first log on. This is the dash, okay, so we had the dashboard from CI Keys, that was our first landing page. Now this is the dashboard from within, C, within WordPress. Now let me just explain a couple things real quick because that'll be confusing. First, we're using a thing called WordPress and everybody just calls it WordPress. There's actually two different kinds of, word, there's two different flavors of WordPress. One is WordPress.com. One is WordPress.org. We are using WordPress.org. For the vast majority of the things you guys will want to mess with, stuff is exactly the same, okay? The difference is WordPress.org is made for people like us, nonprofits, uh, your mom's knitting club, that kind of stuff. So WordPress.org provides all of the code and things like that, a, a common working environment, if you will, but you can install those, those instructions wherever you want. In our case, we're installing them with the company that's hosting this for us. Period, return, new paragraph. There's also a thing called WordPress.com. So that's for folks that don't want to have their own servers, that are interested in making money, want to have a web store, maybe they, their business wants a, uh, their for-profit business wants a website, that kind of thing. So it's basically the same thing, but you pay word, you pr pay this entity called wordpress.com and they, they also host the website for you. And there's some additional things when we get into e-commerce and stuff that they do better. So for most purposes, it doesn't matter, but just realize that we're, you are using wordpress.org and that only really matters if you get sort of high up into the weeds and you're making your site look really fancy and you start looking for some support. Um, there, it's, it's different, just so, we, just so we're clear about that, okay? So there we go. Let's take a look at this. Here, so this is, this, this is built around a blogging um, uh, structure. And so as a consequence, it looks like a, it looks, it's oriented to, to blogs. Let me point out a couple quick things over here. Um, uh, appearance is how we're going to tweak stuff. Posts are when you guys give updates 
frequent updates, short updates. Here's what I did this weekend. I just found this interesting thing in my data. That kind of stuff, that's what you want to do. You want to do a post. That, that's an addition to your blog page. Media is anything you want to display or render on your machine. Photographs, videos, although I don't want you guys to put videos up because they take too much. We'll talk about how you embed videos. Best ways to uh, submit videos to either Vimeo or YouTube and then post the link. And we're probably going to run out of time today to do that, but it's really slick. The point is, if you post a bunch of videos, it's going to gobble up. You don't have infinite web space under CI Keys. So if you post up a bunch of videos, uh, you're going to run out of memory pretty quickly. So this would be um, PDFs, if you wanted to share. This would be maybe uh, uh, some pictures, that kind of stuff. But that, that's the media. Uh, links are things linking to pages. Okay, then we get to pages. Pages are the main structure of your, um, of your uh, uh, web space, right? So, so a page is going to talk about your project. A page is going to talk about um, uh, your poster, a pay, that, that kind of stuff, all right? So pages are not necessarily, the, you know, the thought there is those are more static. Not that you can't update them, but we're going to throw it up and it's going to be there as, as a continuous thing. And then comments are... Once, once I start making comments or your fellow students are going to make comments or you're going to uh, just a centralized place where you can interact with those. Let's go down to appearance though first. Appearance. Okay. And then we have this. So check out those themes, customize. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to go to themes. Theme is the overall look of your website. So if I click on themes, what we're going to find out, the default thing is 2015, which is the current WordPress default uh, template. It's in there. And then they also gave us last year's and the year before. Okay. So either of these will be fine to start with, but eventually, and more about this later, but, but, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have everybody start on this. So I don't want anybody to, to, uh, have a different one for now for the first two weeks. I want you to keep 2015, but let me just show you, if I click this, add a new theme, there's a gazillion million themes. There, like, you know, there's, there's tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of free themes. You can also pay someone. You don't need to pay anyone for this because there's so, many free, so much free stuff out there, right? Um, but maybe if you get totally into something and you really want some, maybe, I mean, maybe, I guess. But, but you know, the themes are like 20 bucks, 40 bucks. They're not like thousands of dollars or something of that nature. So let's say I really like, and then I, I can look for stuff. I want to do photo blogging because I, I do a lot of photography. Um, I would like my thing to be, um, many of them are now, but as I've discovered with Coastal, uh, not all work the same way. Um, so where do I want to look here? Where's it gone? Responsive layout. So responsive layout means that that, web, that, 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 that overall web structure is going to work whether you're on a tablet or an iPhone, or a big screen, whatever. So, so um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna click some things. Maybe I wanna have a purple, I like purple color in my, somewhere in my theme, whatever. So I do all that, I say apply filters, and it goes, here you go. These are all things that are purple, that are responsive, um, and that you know, feature uh, a lot of places for photos. And so I say, oh, Bushwick, I like Bushwick. So I'll say, I'll click that, and I can look at it, and it right now is showing what my website looks like. Is, this is not perfect, but it's a quick and dirty. What it looks like with this theme turned on. And I go, oh, I love that a lot. I'm going to install that. So I say install. And you could have a gazillion of these, right? You could have 30 of these, however many you want. And then it says, okay, good. So I go back to theme installer. Oh, well, sorry. Let's go back to themes over here. Okay, so now it has, again, this guy, this guy, this guy, and we just added this guy. Now, if I wanted to turn this guy on, all I would do would, would, would be to say activate, and then that one would be turned on. The cool thing with this structure is the content that I've entered in. The posts, the pages, that is all consistent from site to site to site to site to site. So if I go in and I move it to this theme or to this theme or to this theme, it automatically knows where to put stuff. It knows that this, this stuff here was a post, 
This stuff here is a picture and it does it. Now, whenever we change themes, you might need to fine tune stuff and, and tweak from the default, but, but that's how it works. Okay, so there we go. So that's that. That's appearance. We're almost running out of time here. Let's, let's look at pages. So right now, all I have is an about. That's all I have. So let's add a page real quick. So everybody come up here and say add new. And we're going to call this the thesis. Or never mind, let's call this research. Let's call it research. Call it research. And this is my research for cap. Stone. Now, this is basically a what you see is what you get interface. So it's pretty cool. The one there's there's several things that are not perfect in WordPress. One is this guy here. Click that dude. Oh my god, I get a lot more controls that pop up. So if I didn't show you that, they would have spent about an hour looking for where the change of color is and all that kind of jazz. So so there's some things that are just weird and, and funky like that. Uh, so here we go. So this is my capstone. Now maybe I want to put a picture in there. So I'm going to click add media. Right now my media library is empty because I've added nothing. So I'm going to say, all right, I want to upload a file. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to grab whatever this photo I just had here. I hope this isn't anything obscene. Great. Excellent. Okay. And so here's this thing. And I'm going to say, uh, this is one of our robots in the Cook Islands and then say and so no, notice notice that that here is the the title that whatever that was that the name of that file I can change it to another name if I want blue lights or something okay now I type this caption and I'll just say insert into page now here's what it looks like now it's sh shown up there note that the caption I've inserted automatically comes up so I, so I strongly suggest that as good practice, when you guys are inserting multimedia stuff, you do put a caption there. And if nothing else, if it's not your photo, it should be the source. Got this from this web address. This was taken by this photographer. This came from the LA Times, whatever it is, right? So just like we want to always reference where our sources come from when we write stuff, good you know, digital citizenship is to make sure we also reference that stuff when it's online as well. So, okay, so I do this kind of stuff, blah, 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 have some words, have some text. Then I hit this button over here that says publish. Okay, let's see what it looks like. So if I go up here where it says Sean's capstone site, and I, if I pull down and say visit site, this is going to be what the public sees, what, what, what anybody typing it in sees. That's super exciting, isn't it? Okay, so th what we're seeing here is this is a blog landing page. And uh, yeah, let's go back. Never mind. Let's go back to dashboard. And let's do, let's do that as a post. So just like we did pages, let's do post. So I'm going to click here. Again, this is the default. WordPress will stick this guy in. And I'm going to say add new. And I'm going to say first test. Post. And I'm going to say blah, 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 blah. I can insert my photo. Let's say insert my photo. Um, now, we'll go over this. I want you guys to start using categories and, and other things, but for now, we'll just leave this blank. Realize this is a way to organize your posts and, and more easily search them and find them. And the same thing with tags. And there's other things here, but I'm just going to say publish. And now I'm going to go up here and visit my site. Oops, sorry. Visit. Okay, here we go. So this is what it looks like. So here, here's my first blog post. So there's text, da 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 da, and there's my photo. Um, so we're almost out of time here. So let's go back to dashboard really quick. So posts, pages. Oh, let me show you one more quick thing. Let's let's, let's go to this post that we just typed. Uh, let's come up here. Let's uh, edit it. Okay, here's a web page I want to paste in. So what if I said blah, 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 blah. As we saw today in, in the LA Times, there are lots of fires. Da, 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 da. Okay. Maybe I want to put a link to this thing, right? One of the great powers of the web is that we can have hypertext and link. So I'm going to select the area where I want the link to appear. Note, I could make the picture 
uh, a, a clickable link. But suffice to say, I'll just let's say this. I'm gonna come here, click this insert a link thing. I'm gonna paste that link. <clears throat> Generally, I like you, someone to stay on my page so to have it open in a new window or whatever. So I'll click that and say add link. And then uh, again, update in this case, since it's already published, I'll update this. This will make it look all fancy. <clears throat> now when I go to my website, I see that and note this is a hyperlink. And if I click this, I'll be taken to the LA Times webpage. Okay. Um, <clears throat> You guys probably got to get to class, but just one last quick thing. Okay, so here's posts, multimedia stuff, the links, pages, which are going to be your more permanent things, comments. And let me just note here, this is where you're going to mess with stuff. So once you start getting into this, 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 first, this first little bit, I want you to not spend too much time on. I just want to make sure you guys can make things work and everything. But when you eventually start tweaking on your own stuff, you can come in here and there's different options. You can customize this, you can change the text, you can change the, the colors, etc. So the most common place to change thing are customize and settings. Uh, let me, I'll, I'll just finish up by clicking on this, noting about plugins. Plugins are things that go, with, go inside of your web page. So little scripts that do useful things. They might be a way for people to provide you comments, there might be a way, it might be a way to control spam. It might be a way to display maps, um, all kinds of stuff. So, so just know a plugin is different from a theme. A theme is the overall look of the website. A plugin is some of the, uh, some of the activity you have within there. Okay. All right. Thanks you guys.